Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to protect the content of a specific page uh, using the WPE member WordPress plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ. Now, I just want to um, preface what I'm doing here. What I did was set up a page, and what I want to do is make it so only basic level users are able to gain access to this page. And what I did, if you can see, you can see here in WPE member, um, I set up a particular membership level called basic, and I have one member here that belongs to that basic level. So what I'm trying to do now is make it so this particular page that I created is available only to basic users. So it's not available to the public, but it's only basic uh, available to users that have basic level. Uh, membership level they have a basic membership level that I created so okay so at first I first of all I created the page published it it's currently um, available publicly the way it's set up and there's gonna be a section here called e-member protection options um, if you don't see that you it might be because you have to drop this down and make sure that it's checkmarked um, by default you will see it though um, when you have e-member installed, WPE member installed. So when you see it there, currently by default, uh, when you create a new page, it's not protected. Um, providing no other settings have been made to um, override this protection, like you can do site-wide protection, for example. But assuming there's no other protection, uh, higher level protection in place, then by default, this page will not be protected. So I'll view it in a different browser here. As you can see, I'm gonna click on that and I do have I do have access to it even though I'm actually logged out I, I, I'm I'm able to access this page it's only it's based on these settings here that show up right here so now what I'm gonna do is enable the protection I'm gonna leave this unchecked for now so I'm gonna click on update so now as you can see this particular page is protected so I'm gonna refresh this page here and remember I'm logged out so it, what it's gonna do is prompting me to log in. And the, the beauty of this plugin, um, this particular page is prompting me to log in. So after I log in, I will be, I, I won't have to try to navigate to this page unless um, I could have set it up so that I'm redirected to a particular page on the site after login. Um, and if that's the case, I will. I won't have access. I won't have immediate access to this page that I'm trying to access right now because I'm going to be redirected. However, I remove that. I don't have any redirection in place for after login, so I'm actually going to gain access to the content of this page after logging in immediately after logging in. Okay, so I'm just going to log in, and now since I'm logged in. I'm able to see the content of this page. However, I, I don't belong to any of the membership levels that have permission to access this page because I didn't define any. I didn't define any membership levels. I, I basically say um, there aren't any membership levels that have access to this page. And since I'm a basic member, clearly I don't have access. So what I'm going to do is check mark that and say, yes, basic members do have access to this particular page click on update and now that setting is in place so now when I click refresh since I'm a basic user logged in here after clicking refresh or going back to the page I'm going to be able to gain access to the content of this page and that's really all there is to it very very simple every time you create a new page look for this section here and set up the particular permissions now if you have more than one membership level set up there will be a list of them there and you can just check mark each one that you want to allow um, this particular page access to for those particular members. So that is it. Uh, again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.